got her. I saw him come up and smoke it, dude. What is up guys, good morning. Man, oh man, it has been such a fun time in New York. The fishing has been phenomenal. And I'm gonna be honest, today wasn't even a day I was considering fishing, but I looked out and the wind was blowing, not too bad, but we got a pretty good breeze right now. A little breeze, I think, could really turn these fish on and get them to bite, so that is the beauty of being home and being so close to Cayuga Lake, five minutes away from the launch, 90 seconds to load this kayak into the CRV. Even if it isn't good fishing today, we can just head home if we need to. It's going to be a day of ripping lips, as they say. I guess the real question is going to be chatter or jerk bait today. The water's still pretty clear. It could be jerk bait time still. Spinner bait. <laughs> the perch jerk bait. Just please, nobody steal it too early on. You know who I'm talking to. Finally got one. Jeez Louise. Took a minute. New waypoints today. There we go. Thank you, sir. The old jerk bait. Something had to work today. Batty. Get us started. Dude, little guy. What the heck? It's the smallest one. I don't even think that's a keeper. That's the first non-keeper we've caught all trip, I think. Got her. I saw him come up and smoke it, dude. Dude, that's a big one. That's a huge one, man. Got one hook in him. One hook in him. That's a huge one. Oh yeah. I almost had to fight that fish like he didn't know he was hooked. See, I knew they were here. Oh. Look at that meaty chunk right there. That is called the thickness. Man, right at the boat too. First cast, the old chatter wagon. <laughs> a little shallower, a little dirtier over here. Oh man, there's another big one. Oh man, never gets old. Ugh. Dude, that's huge. Look how big that one is. Dude, I could think I caught that one in the tournament. I'm not even kidding. Do you guys remember me catching a fish with an orange eye? Oh man, another one right there? There's a toad. It's got an orange eye. What the heck? Oh, look at his eye. He's got like an orange eye. What the heck? I don't have my board with me, but I gotta take a picture of that because I think that is the exact same fish I caught in the tournament. Dude, that's crazy. I think I caught that one during the tournament. Oh my God. 
That's wild. If that was the same fish we caught during the tournament, I caught that fish during the tournament about eh, a couple hundred yards to my right, and it was on a dock. Now it's just on a grass flat. This goes to show you these fish are just moving around this entire flat, just feeding up. These are all pre-spawn fish, and I know I've probably beaten this to death with saying this, but these fish are 100% eating little perch. And that's why the chatterbait's been working so good in the dirtier water. When it gets clean, the perch jerkbait works pretty good. But this whole flat, this whole gr grass flat, I mean, the grass is key because that's what's going to hold these little perch. And that's what attracts these, these bass. Water temp has been really consistently right at 52, 53 the entire time I've been home. It's fun when they're kind of stuck in a pre-spawn mode. And you just go the same areas and chunk and wind all day and catch them. Dude, these birds diving. These birds are crushing bait right now. I've seen them around, but right now they're crushing something. I'm no fool. Let's go over there. up and swiped it see these fish don't even know they're hooked I don't even know they're hooked do we net them or do we not one hook oh yeah that's a stunted one but it's another fat one it's an odd shaped fish the little humpback Ugh. Got her. Another big one. Oh my gosh. Ay, ay, ay. It's a number five keeper. Number five, right? For keepers go? Just tanks over here. God, I'm gonna miss New York. Kind of weird how they're not jumping too much. Oh yeah, another one. Practicing my hand landing skills today with a jerk bait, which is dangerous. That's number five. Another solid fish, man. This shallower stuff has been my chatterbait deal, but even the shallow stuff is kind of cleared up. And that water clarity has been everything as far as the chatterbait bite goes. I mean, you can catch them on the chatterbait like we've done, but as this water clears up, it's harder to trick them. So right now we're going with a jerk bait for the first time this shallow. Really all you gotta do is work it different so you don't get hung up as much. You don't jerk down, you jerk up and keep it above the grass. And these fish, when they see it, they just come up and get it. That's so awesome when it works nicely. Another one. And we just come here with the chatterbait all through this stuff. It's a jerkbait deal. Oh dude, this fish got it. Like he got this chat this jerkbait. I mean, they're, that's when they're eating it right there. That's when they're eating it. Oh my goodness. Let's retie just in case. I hate to say it, this is our only jerk bait, and that is pretty much the end of our day is when we lose it. The only way we probably would lose it is if a big pickerel or pike engulfs the entire thing. And we've mentioned this before too, but the jerk bait is probably one of the few baits that is really easy to lose on this body of water just because when they hit it, usually on the paws, and those pickerel will eat the whole thing. You'll feel the bite, you'll set, and you'll just 
get nothing. You'll get a line. It'll just slice right through there like butter. Gosh, I'm really happy we've caught this many fish on this bait though. Certainly got our money's worth. Come on, folks. There we go. Boat flip them? Oh, I don't know. That might be too big to boat flip. Ugh, never mind. Everything made sense. Grass, dirty water. 54.5, actually pretty warm over here. And that's what you get. Chatterbait and the jerk bait are the winners again today. Dude, I don't know if you guys can see this in the distance, but these birds are going insane. I'm seeing birds from other parts of the lake congregate. It's like something's going on. I guess there must be school of bait fish or I don't even know what's going on. What the heck? They're all leaving now. Back to the money maker. I'm surprised these birds haven't tried to dive on my jerk bait yet. Got her. Oh, God, he pulled off. There we go. There we go. Dude, come on. Why are you guys pulling off now? You stay on. Yeah, you'll stay on. Oh, that's a good one. They're all good. I say that every time. I know. I know I say that every time. They are just kind of nipping at it. A lot of them, some of them just choked it, and others have just gotten one hook. So we've got face full of hooks. Oh, oh, I think he just lost. Oh, God. I know I should be using the net, but it's not a tournament, so whatever. There we are. Golly, they're just here. And it's so fun. Oh man, I'm gonna net this one, I think. I think I'm gonna net that one. Yeah, that's a net worthy fish right there. Dude. Old footballs. Ooh. There we go. He came back and got it. Hook. Whew, almost lost that dude. Got one little hook right there. One little hook. Oh god, I had one follow it. Another big one followed it. You wonder how many followers I'm getting compared to how many are actually biting. Big enough to net. There we go. Too much fun. I don't know why it's dude. It is so addicting catching bass. I know oh man. I don't know if it's because like all those really hard days add up or what. And once you finally get on a day where they're just biting and you're catching them, it's just like so hard to leave. <laughs> But I can't leave, man, when they're biting like this. My last trip in New York, I think. We gotta fish till we stop getting bit. And we figured them out, too. 
like they're in this flat right here. <laughs> like, so easy to catch right now. <laughs> I think I got a net that one. That one's pretty big, actually. I don't want them to break me. God. You guys are too much fun. You guys just want this little perch. <laughs> Jeez. Man, I'll tell you what, I hope you guys out there, you know, get to experience days like this. Ah, oh, it's why you fish. I mentioned this in the tournament video. I totally wish I had a live scope right now so I could see what's swimming in front of me. I guarantee it'd be pretty nuts. Golly! Watch your run, watch your run. I gotta like look at them to see how good they're hooked before I try to horse them. You know, it's pretty good, I think. There we go. Thank you, sir. Got her. Oh no, wrong species. Thank God. Whew. That's the one that could have been a beef. Oh no 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 go away get out of here dude it's a fake lure you don't want this trust me dude that same bird is looking at my bait god One for the road. Oh, we're gonna get a pickerel for the road? No. Come on, dude. I don't want you for the road. Oh man, I was hoping we'd get a bass for the road. For the flight, that is. Oh well. Well guys, I cannot believe the time has come, but that is going to conclude our trip to New York and the fishing in New York. And as always, this time of year in New York, uh, man, I, there's not many other places in the country that I'd wanna be personally. What's interesting is compared to last time we were in New York, this time of year, we've had to change areas, find the fish, relocate them. The weather was a little bit different this time around, but we did find obviously a stretch loaded. You can see with the waypoints that we made throughout the trip, that there was just fish everywhere. And it really was these grass beds that we initially couldn't see when the water was dirty, but as the trip has progressed, this water has cleared up and these grass beds are a lot more visible. And that's exactly where these fish are sitting. The name of the game was Match the Hatch this time around. Little tiny perch, probably some bluegill too, were on the menu for sure. And that chatterbait started the trip when the water was a little bit dirtier, did the trick, and as it cleared up and these fish could see a little bit better, that jerk bait was hard to beat. So it just goes to show that you have to be versatile sometimes. Awesome trip though overall. Fun tournament, fun fishing. I guess for the next video, I will see you guys back in California. But as always, thank you guys for coming along for watching. Hope everyone is doing well, catching some fish, and I will see you guys back in California.